Hello and welcome back. The hot topic of the day is the form generation trigger, something you can use to get more information from your clients. Here's how it works at a glance. This trigger is an automatic action, creates a special link you can send your customers for them to fill out and that way they can update the information in their own lead cards themselves. There is also a referral form which will make a new lead with the inviter ID field instead of updating the current one. It's an ideal option for referral programs. This may all sound a bit complicated, but no worries. We can clarify further with a nice mock use case, which we will do now. So let's imagine we own a local pizzeria. We want some feedback from our clients. We mostly do delivery and they typically order via WhatsApp. To get the feedback, we will send them a form via WhatsApp a day after the order is received. Right, so here we are in our WhatsApp pizzeria chat with one of our customers and here's our form which we click on. Mike's Pizza Feedback Form because helping out small businesses is very good for the economy, no matter what other people say. We fill out the form and press done. Now, let's see what happens when a client does that. Back to our Ammo CRM sales pipeline. Let's open the lead card related to the person that has just filled out the form and voila, the information is updated, just like that. So what we witnessed just now is that our lead has filled out a form we sent them via WhatsApp and basically did all the work for us. The information we wanted to update is there in the lead card automatically. That means we're ready to collect statistics and improve our service. Now, let's see how to set all this goodness up. First and foremost, the preparations. We'll need a group of fields for our new form. The data has to go somewhere, right? To do that, we'll select any lead card in our pipeline and press Setup. We press the plus icon and in the pop-up window, we select Add Group, Feedback Form. Press Add again and now we need to add the fields themselves. We'll follow the structure we've previously used in our use case. Link to the form. The first one. Select field. Are you satisfied with our delivery service? Options. Yes. No. Hard to say. Select field again. Are you satisfied with our pizza quality? Yes. No. Hard to say. Select field once more. Are you ordering pizza from other companies? Yes. No. Multi-select field. Are you following us on social media? Yes on Facebook. Yes on Instagram. No. Finally, a short text field, your comments, because that's where our customers will input a lot of interesting things about us. Press save and we're done here. Now that we've got the fields ready, it's time to set up the trigger itself. Let's go to leads and press setup in the upper right corner. We've got a number of stages here. Order received, transfer to the kitchen, transfer to delivery, delivered today, we want to send a feedback form to customers who recently ordered from us, so we click on an empty cell under the Deliver Today stage. Here, choose the Generate form from the list. Oh, so many options. Just like a good pizzeria, am I right? <clears throat> yes, let's add a condition. The responsible user for this shall be our lovely Tatiana. Next up is the Execute option, a la when it's going to trigger. Let's select when moved to this stage and select after one day because that was the original idea. Also, a good reminder at the same time the next day. Maybe they'll want some more. Finally, choose if it's going to be an individual form or the referral form. You can only have one at a time, of course. What's the difference, you say? Well, it's quite simple. The individual form updates the information in the existing lead card and the referral form will create a new lead card and contact upon submission. 
These forms pursue different goals, where an individual form is something you can use for data updates, and a referral does best what it says on the tin. Referrals, like a bonus program. In our case, we are not planning to launch a referral program of any kind, so we'll go with the individual form. Moving on, let's add some tags to differentiate the leads. Hashtag statistics, hashtag web form, boink. After this, this lead isn't doing much in our pipeline, so we'll send it to the closed one stage. And done. Lastly, let's apply this new trigger to all leads currently present on this pipeline stage by checking the apply the trigger for all leads already in this stage. The fields are ready, the trigger is ready. Now we need the form itself. Press the create form button and choose a form template. As you can see, there are some cool things to choose from, but naturally we'll need to make some adjustments. Let's go with the basic one and edit it. First, let's press on the text position. Leave it on the top so that it's not in the fields themselves. Then we choose the font color and then the font border. Let's make it round. Moving on to field style, let's choose a nice border color and background color. Finally, let's click on the CSS button. We won't do anything here. However, if you need to customize the form to suit your needs, like branding, for instance, you can add your own CSS code here. Next, let's delete the fields that we have here by default. We won't need them in this case. Instead, we will pull into the form the fields from a lead card that we've created before. So, our first question is, are you satisfied with our delivery service? Then, are you satisfied with our pizza quality? Are you ordering pizza from other companies? Are you following us on social media? And finally, your comments. And the submit button. Let's change its color. And then press additional on the right. Hmm, yeah, let's change the header. We want it at the top of the form and label it brightly and proudly. Mike's Pizza. Because Mike knows how it's done, ladies and gents. And his pizzas are the absolute best. Center placement, of course. And press done. Now, all we have to do is choose the background color over here and place the icon. We can use the background image too. Phew, yes, a good form does require a little bit of tweaking, but it is so worth it. The form itself is ready and it's time for us to decide where it's going to be. For that, we're going to Form Placement Settings. We go to Form Placement and choose the background color here and the background image. Let's find something cool. And then also add our logo. You can select the position of the form like this and we'll have it in the center. Now, let's add a description and specify what we'd like to say to those who have submitted the form. This checkbox can help us decide where we will redirect our customers after form submission. In our case, we want them to go to our Instagram. So we paste the link in and then make sure they are redirected automatically after five seconds. Finally, we save the forms link in the following field of each lead, link to the form. Press save, it is done. So what happens is this. Once the action condition is met, a link to the form is generated and inserted in the lead or customer card in this very field you've selected just now. Oh, after so much work, let's do it, let's send it in. So here's our lead card and now we see the form link. Let's copy it and chat the lead up via WhatsApp. Typing, typing and boom, here goes the link. <laughs> Send. What's going to happen now is rather simple. If that's a link to the individual form, the lead will fill out the information and click Submit. The lead stage in Amo CRM will change to the one we've selected and the data will be automatically updated in the same lead card. If it's a referral form, a new lead and contact will be created with everything else, proceeding the way we can specify in the trigger settings. Once the link is added to the profile in the required lead, you can see that this has happened in the lead card feed. That way, you won't have to wonder if it has always been there or not. Well, now, 
you've learned how to use the forms trigger, which is an incredibly useful little tool that can help you update the lead information automatically and run referral programs quite easily. It is but one of the many complex and useful triggers Amo CRM has to offer. Learn more in the next videos. Thank you for watching and see you next time.